Well, as you can tell by the thumbnail, this video is not going to be about fishing. We're going to get back and do something on the sheep. I did just get back from the lake, and if you want to know how my day went... Yeah, there we go. Finally found one out here ways. Yeah, up the point where they're supposed to be. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, that's pretty much how it went, so no fish for a day. But for you guys that are subscribers, I mentioned to you months ago, I was starting to raise horned hair sheep, and I said we might be doing some videos on that. I haven't got too much into it because, well, we've just been getting going. Now, if fishing or fishing lure painting is what interests you, well, you might want to pass this video on by and wait for the next one. Now, if you're not a subscriber, saw the thumbnail, raising horned hair sheep, that interests you, well, you might want to subscribe. Normally, this is a lot of fishing videos and from what we do on the outside when my buddy and I do some fishing or painting lures. But this year I've started where I'm going to start raising horned hair sheep. And I decided I'm going to do some videos on that. And I'm just going to put in right here with all the other stuff. A lot of the reason I'm going to do this. Hey, like everybody else, you're going to do something new you're not sure of. You go to YouTube, you start looking for videos. And that's what I did. I looked up Barbados black belly sheep. I looked up Corsicans. I looked up mouflons. And I looked at every video I could to get on raising this type of sheep. And you know what I found? I found hundreds of hunting videos and I don't think I found one or two that had anything to do with how to raise them. So if you're thinking of doing something like that and you're going to YouTube to find videos, well, there's just not very many of those around. So I'm thought, you know, it's something I'm doing here, it's with the outdoors, it kind of goes with the other channel and the, the fishing and anything we're doing in the outdoors, so we're going to put some of those videos here. I don't know if I'll have one every week, might be every other week, but if you are interested in horn hair, sheep, and stuff that goes along with it, if you're not a subscriber, this might be the time to do it, because I got the feeling there's going to be some videos in the future that's going to be worth coming back to. All right, start out for our first video. We're not going to get too complicated into a lot of stuff, but those of you that have subscribed, you know, for a few months now I've been saying, hey, i got to build some fence and i am got to put a new fence up. And we did have to do that. The place had a lot of fence on it, but basically it was set for when it had cattle or when we had horses. And didn't work for sheep. So over the last few months, we've put up about 3,000 foot of fence, and the majority of it is four foot tall, woven wire with the four inch hole. You can't have the bigger holes in it. And the reason why, sheep stick their head in, they can't get it out, and they die. See, sheep are stupid. Turkeys are brilliant compared to sheep. I didn't think I'd ever say that, but it is. I'll tell you, they're, they, if there's anything they can do dumb, sheep do it. So we had a lot of fence to put up like this. We put up a lot, fenced in some smaller pastures and stuff. Later on, I'm going to do some videos. I had to build some run-in sheds. I had kind of a unique way I did that. I'm going to show you that. And I'll have some other stuff for down the line. But we did that later. For now, I wanted to let you know, okay, what type of sheep are we going to be working with here? First, it's hair sheep, which means they have no wool, which means you never have to shear them. And we're horned-haired sheep. You have a lot of hair sheep out there that are raised for meat. But the horned hair sheep can be raised for meat can be raised for breeding, and the other thing, of course, is the horns. You're looking for the big horns, you're looking for your high fence hunting operations, you're looking to buy these sheep for hunters to come in and shoot them. So that way you have two or three different outlets uh, for all your sheep, and that's what we're dealing with here. Now, I kind of got started with this. My son-in-law, my daughter and son-in-law live right over here, and I live right beside here. He's been to a couple of this high fence hunting operation shooting for us, so that's where he kind of wanted to get the idea of raising them. So he kind of got me started, and now I'm doing it too. We're going two different directions on his. In his case, he's going to do Texas doll. Now, basically, that's just a white U. We got one out here now with mine. He's got four he picks up in a couple weeks, and he does have a Texas doll ram on hand. So he's going to do the Texas doll. This is kind of the, the Texas doll is similar to the Alaskan doll only it's raised here for the high fence hunting operations. I'm going to work with Barbados, or Black Belly, uh, and Mouflons. Now, way back in, a long time ago in Texas, when they first started crossing these sheep to get stuff for the hunting operations, they did the Barbados, or Black Belly. They crossed them with Mouflon, and that's where you get Corsicans. 
So your Corsican is one that's well noted for the, for the hunting operations and hunting places like that. The mouflon is also there and even the black belly, all three of those. So I have black belly use, I have a mouflon ram coming, and I have mouflon ewes coming, even some mouflon lambs coming. The black belly ewes or Barbados ewes that I have out here were exposed to rams when I got them earlier. Now this one is getting really close. I don't know how many think is in there. One, two, maybe three. I'm hoping two, because sheep only put two dinner place settings up. So anything more than that, they either got a share or you end up bottle feeding, and I don't want to bottle feed. So got that one coming close. I got another one out there that's starting that could be in the next 30 days or so. And then one that's coming in that I have to pick up here. If she doesn't have lambs for her, get her here. She probably will shortly after we get her here. So we got that to do. But that's what I'm going. The direction I'm going is the Barbados or Black Belly, the Mouflons, crossing and having Corsican and or Mouflon. So that's the way I'm going to go. All three of those types, or whether it's a Texas doll or any of these horned hair sheep, as I said, the four foot fence is going to cover it except for when you work with them. When you work with them, you want at least six foot tall fence or more because they do get off the ground. So anytime they're pushed, it takes bigger fencing, but to start, that'll get you by. All right, that's all I'm gonna get into for this time around. We'll have more stuff later, but I wanted to get you into what we've been doing, if you're a subscriber, and what's coming up, and what kind of sheep we're gonna be working with. If you haven't subscribed to your instant sheep, hit the subscribe button, because you wanna come back. We're gonna have a lot more videos on this. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you real soon.